about when I had my pro day and the NFL draft came and the and the free agent contracts went out and I didn't get one. Um, I was contacted by you know numerous numerous arena league teams with the opportunity to come play in that league. If if you know back then, uh, which was that year that was 2007. If you didn't make it in the NFL, you could either try to play in the Canadian League or the Arena League, you know, and my route ended up being in the Arena League, um, you know, so I got the opportunity basically summer of 2007, which was already halfway through their season, to jump on to a team, and then I played in that league for seven years. There, it's, it's changed so much over the years, I couldn't even tell you what they look like right now. Back when I played, um, you, you technically signed a year contract, but that contract basically meant nothing. You could be cut, you could be shipped out, traded the next day. Um, it was kind of like the Wild West because you're not talking, you know, an NFL contract, uh, there's, there's some uh, portion of it's guaranteed money um, you know, there's buyouts, there's all these different things, right? If you get cut, you're gonna, or get traded, either somebody's gonna have to pick up your contract, right? Or they're gonna owe you some money and big time money in the NFL, right? We made some money in the arena league, but it's not like NFL money, right? So because the money's so different, um, it's just not as strict as far as the contracts are concerned, at least when I played. I mean, I was, I wasn't ever cut in any sport in my life until I got into the arena league. Um, and that happened to me, I think twice in seven years, very common. You know what I mean? It just was what it was. It was, it was, it was not fun to go through, but, uh, back to your original question. Yeah. You signed a contract, but <laughs> they, they pretty much could do whatever they wanted to do. All right. So good story for you. So when I first got out, right, the arena league, they had the AFL, um, which was the Arena League, and then they had the AF2, right, which was basically a feeder system into the AFL, like the minor leagues. So most guys coming fresh out of college and what I did, I had to go play in the Arena 2 League, right? So that's basically like single-A or double-A minor league baseball. So for my first couple of years in the Arena League, we made, uh, it was $250 a game, okay? But... You got free housing, you got free meals. So you're living free for six months. Um, you're getting some some money in your pocket per month. You don't have many expenses, but it was a grind. I mean, it was not some glamorous, you know, it's, it's not the NFL, obviously. Uh, but I still had the dream of making it to the NFL. Uh, and that path for me was going to have to be, you know, Arena 2 into Arena 1, right, AFL, and then hopefully, you know, a, a bigger contract after that. Um, at the height of, of my career, uh, when the when the the old AFL disbanded, they brought back what they called the new Arena League. If you were a starting quarterback, um, you were making I think it was eighteen hundred a week, right? So you got four games a month, and you live free, right? And got free meals. So not anywhere close to NFL money, but a means to keep playing. And a lot of the guys didn't happen to me. But a handful of guys that I played with went from the Arena League, um, uh, you know, to the NFL. And so it was, uh, that's what you had to do if you wanted to keep playing. And uh, for me at that point, it was definitely never about the money. Um, you know, not many guys get to say they played college football, right? And then even a smaller percentage of that get to say they played any level of professional football, albeit in the Arena League. So I was I was just happy for the opportunity and, and, and played as long as I Well, first of all, it's such a different game, too. It's a confined space. The field's only 50 yards long and about 25 yards wide, right? So, I mean, half as wide, half as long. The game's so fast because of that confined space. For the quarterback position, I think the, the it's probably the hardest transition for any player moving from outdoor football to indoor football would be the quarterback. Learning that that type of game, um, defensive back is an extremely tough position to play in the arena league as well. When you got guys running at you full speed, um, so that was a uh, that was a learning curve. Um, and the talent level is really good now. Again, you're talking about guys who are a, a click or two away from being good enough to play in the NFL. Guys that played in the NFL and were in the arena league for their, for whatever reason, maybe they got in trouble, maybe they got cut and they're trying to make it back. 
So the talent level was extremely good, extremely good. It was not, we're not talking about semi-pro football, you know, men's league. We're talking about guys that, that got paid to play the game. And we-